Hi, Brent Tech here. Wet Tech is made simple. This is just a quick follow up video and update video to a video I posted a couple of weeks ago at the end of September where I mentioned that the Microsoft Edge floating desktop web widget was getting a Windows 11 redesign. And basically the web widget is a feature found in the Microsoft Edge Canary version of the browser, which is a pre-release version used for testing and experimenting. And it's very similar to the news and interests feed uh, that you found in Windows 10 and widgets that you found in Windows 11. Now, basically, it lets you view a personalized news feed and search your favorite websites uh, from your PC desktop. And at the time of posting that first video, it had been updated with Windows 11 marker effect, rounded corners, and some other handy features. Now, today, when I was uh, going through my, my settings in Microsoft Edge Canary, I noticed that the web widget, the name had been changed to Edge Bar. So the first change is it's gone now from being called Web Widget to Edge Bar. And if we click on it, it takes us to the menu. And everything here looks the same, just the name change. You can, you can start the uh, Edge Bar when your computer starts. You can just toggle that on if that's an option you would prefer. And then you just launch it straight here, open Edge Bar, and that takes us to the Edge Bar, which was previously called Web Widget. And as you can see, it looks and um, works very similar to uh, the newsfeed in Windows 10 and widgets in Windows 11. And now the second major change is the icons and options have moved from the right hand side to the left hand side. They were previously on the right and now they are on the left. And just to summarize quickly, if you are unaware what the edge bar actually does and is all about, the newsfeed is set to MSN uh, by default, you can go to uh, Bing, you can go straight to your uh, email client as well. You have an option, a shortcut to go to LinkedIn. You can also add a new tab, your own custom URL. Uh, you have your profile. You can have a shortcut to go to your rewards and then you have the edge bar settings where you get a vertical layout which is default and then also a search only layout as well, if that's something that you would prefer. And then you can also pin it to your desktop. You can enable auto hard, which just basically gives it its little own taskbar on the side with all the functions available, which could be quite handy if that's something you enjoy. You can, you know, uh, unhard it from the side. You can um, unpin it. You can move it around anywhere on your desktop and you can minimize it, which brings up the, uh, the uh, floating button, which is a quick shortcut, which you can move anywhere onto your desktop in, in whichever location you would prefer it, where if you click on it, it just launches the uh, edge bar as a quick shortcut. And if you just minimize that again, you have some options. You have, so this will take you to your settings enable floating button and you can actually close the edge bar straight from the floating button. So that's just a quick update video on the um, the web widget which is called edge bar now and that the the other major change is that the icons the options have moved from the right to the left hand side and this I have posted a couple of videos over the last couple of months regarding the web widget now called edge bar. So Microsoft is putting quite a lot of attention and focus onto this. So this looks like it's something, a feature and option that will roll out in the not too distant future to a stable version of the Microsoft Edge web browser. So I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.